Hello everybody, this is Eric from Gamers of the Ages, and I am now going to begin my tutorial on how to make your Pokeball open realistically. Uh, this etc. object is just the ray, the light, and the floor and stuff, so let's just disable all of these, everything, because we don't need these right now. This is just to make everything look better. I don't know why I'm doing that, but alright. So now, uh, what you're going to want to do is, I think, yeah, wait, just click on the inside and press C to make it editable. Now go to your polygons mode and uh, click on or disable your button for now because you have to get, alright, click on select, click on loop selection because you have to get right outside of the button and everything that's inside too so like that or the button holder so now disable the button holder and this is probably the hardest part because you have it's not even that hard though trust me uh, all you have to do is you have to see how this part gets the top half and the other part gets the bottom half over here uh, that's the hardest part you just have to change it around it's really easy alright so shift click that it takes probably about a minute and all you have to do is go to select live selection and you just have to fill these in yourself oh and control click to um... to make it like not be there like like that just erase it As you can see, it is connected, and it is the entire top half, or not the entire top half, but the top half uh, split, I guess you could say. Now, um, now what you have to do is just get this entire, the rest of the top. So it doesn't take long. All you have to do is see how. You have to get this entire part. So, with, to do that, I'm going to click, click on, er, on select, fill selection, and shift click that. And now you have the entire top half. So now, uh, click that, and press or er, and click on, or er, right click on this, right click, and uh, click on split. And now, see which one is just the top would be this one because it only shows this and uh, label that top half top half and uh, now go back to this and now you have to get the bottom half which is also very easy all you have to do is cl click on select um, outline selection click that don't shift click and then go back to select and click fill selection and just normal click and now you have the bottom half so right click that and click split now see which one is just the bottom half label that bottom half enter and now with this one the whole thing you just delete that now what you're going to do is well, you, you can enable your buttons again and now uh, put the button, attach the button to the button holder, or this is what I do to make it more easy. And now make sure that the button is connected to the top half and also make the top connected to the top half. Now just minimize that. Oh, go back to your um, original editing mode. And now go to, or connect the bottom to the bottom half. Now you have your two halves, and that's all that really matters. So 
to make this open click on the top half and uh, click rotate as you can see the thing is right or actually no just make it normal uh, moving or whatever as you can see the thing the axis is in the middle and you have to move it to the back end of the pokeball and what you want to do to do that very simple go to uh, where is it? Tools, and then go to Modes, and click on Enable Access. Now all you, all that you have to do is move this to the back end, so that it's kind of halfway in the Pokeball and halfway out of the Pokeball. Kind of like that, if you can see. Just a little bit more in. Kind of like that. So the axis, so the little square is in halfway in and halfway out of the Pokeball. And yeah, that's pretty much perfect. All right, so now just go to the front of the Pokeball, or actually just go to the side, I guess. And now you have to make that so that it stays right there. So all you have to do is go back to Tools, Modes, and uh, click Enable Axis again. Now rotate it and focha you get an amazing pokeball open up pokeball look looks pretty beast it goes from awesome or from oh wait do 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 right, there it goes from there to there becomes awesome Ugh. It's completely closed. And then when this is, or er, this is, and then when it is open, it is open awesomely like that. Yeah, I say like that. And as you see, it looks good. It looks pretty amazing. And if you were to turn the stuff back on when it is rendered looks pretty yeah pretty amazing so let's let's check that out turn on anti alice aliasing <sighs> to make it look a lot better change your uh, settings your output settings and put this from geometry to best and turn on ambient occlusion and it will make it look a lot better it will make a big difference Just look at that. Look at how amazing that is. Yep, so that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you have any problems. And I will try to help you. And yeah, peace.